Albert Einstein. Oh, you idiot. You better play at home alone. <laughs> Why do you even bother to study at home? There was a very unpopular boy who annoyed other children and was often scolded by the teacher. But this boy had a lot of questions that disturbed adults. Hmm. Why is this happening? This boy, who had many questions, was Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein was born on March 14, 1879, in Olem, Germany. As a young boy, he liked playing with his uncle. His uncle was an inventor who made many toys for Einstein. One day, his uncle was reading a book. Uncle, what are you reading? I am reading a book which Newton wrote. He is a famous scientist. Oh, what is the apple right there? Newton learned the power of the Earth attracting objects just by seeing an apple falling to the ground. How would he know? <sighs> That's because he had studied a lot. Due to business failure, Einstein's father moved his family to Milan, Italy. Einstein, however, could not go with his family. Albert, you have to stay here and graduate before you go to a university. Einstein was left alone in Germany, which was unfortunate since he couldn't bear staying in a tough boarding school. Einstein went to a doctor with complaints of stress and anxiety. Doctor, I came here because I can't sleep these days. Why can't you sleep? I think I can't adapt to the new environment here. The doctor wrote a medical note to let him rest with his family in Milan, Italy. Einstein became healthy after he reunited with his family. Italy is a beautiful place, just as I heard. One day, his father called Einstein to join him in a quiet room. You are healthy now. It's time for you to start thinking of your future. What should I do in the future? Einstein hoped to enter the University of Zurich. I will study hard to study at the University of Zurich. As soon as he graduated from his high school in R.O., he enrolled in the University of Zurich. I am proud of you, son. Einstein liked physics more than math. Professors were worried because Einstein didn't study math hard enough. However, Einstein's answer to that was simple. I like physics more than math. That's it. Einstein had a few close friends. They always discussed physics whenever they had free time. What do you think is the most important studies when it comes to physics? Well... It's the subject that is based on combination of the basic laws of motion and the law of gravity. There are a few basic laws of motion. The objects which don't move will not by themselves start moving. The objects which are already in motion will continue moving. The stronger you push a moving object, the faster the object moves. This is the law of acceleration. Einstein's friends liked listening to him as he explained these laws. <laughs> Whoa! You really know a lot! All of his friends were amazed by Einstein's explanations. At that moment, Einstein posed a question. What does it mean when I say an object is not moving? What does it mean when I saw that an object is moving at a constant speed? Beep. 
there is some other meaning when I say the object has stopped. In the meantime, Einstein was walking through a train station. I think I know now. Whoever rides on a train, they feel that they do not move, but the train is moving. Same as the Earth. The Earth orbits the Sun, but it doesn't look like it's moving. Einstein thought that Newton's laws did not explain all the theories of motion. What material? What is it? In my opinion, only light will solve this problem. Then, Einstein realized that light was made of waves. Until now, physicists have been told that if there is ether in space from this vibration, light is made. But there is something wrong here. Einstein decided to research the properties of ether. Einstein studied all night. Even when he walked, he continued thinking of ether. These efforts led to a scientific achievement, which was his discovery of the principle of relativity. I finally did it! I'm so proud of myself! It was time for Einstein to graduate from the university. Now that I graduated from college, I will have to make money with my hands. One of his friends, Glotzman, helped him get a job in Bern, Switzerland. But while he was working, he couldn't stop thinking about physics. He continued to study during his breaks. In 1905, when Albert Einstein became 26 years old, he published The Special Theory of Relativity in a paper. The themes of his paper were very diverse. Einstein agreed with Newton's idea that time and space were not absolute, but were relative in special cases. That was how he founded the famous relativity principle. This theory stated that matter can be transformed into energy, and energy also can be transformed into matter. Einstein proved what Newton couldn't. I want to hire you as a university professor. Your explanations are amazing. He taught students the special theory of relativity at the university. His special theory of relativity was so complicated that ordinary people had trouble understanding his meaning. Einstein taught the students in an easy and funny way. Professor Einstein is really a wonderful gentleman. That's right. He is always nice to us. And he is a skillful teacher. At that time, Einstein was asked to come and teach at his old school, Zurich University in Switzerland. Sir, please give your lectures to the students. Sure, I'm glad to go. He was happy to teach students there, but he did not stay for long. One day, he was again asked to give lectures in Berlin University in Germany. He headed to Germany. Einstein's relativity theory was perfected during his research in Germany. On May 1919, Britain's eclipse proved Einstein's theory of relativity. For this, Einstein was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1921. He was now known as a famous scientist. At that time, a famous chemist named Wiseman, together with Einstein, went to the U.S. Einstein became a tenured professor at an advanced science laboratory. When he was teaching students in the laboratory, Hitler began World War II.
After a while, Einstein heard the news that Germany was making an atomic bomb. We will all die if an atomic bomb explodes here! Eventually, the United States succeeded in making an atomic bomb faster than Germany. Einstein knew the power of the atomic bomb and thought it was a bad idea to use it. He was a leader and advocated world peace. Eventually, he passed away in a hospital in the U.S. He is remembered for his work on world peace and his amazing achievements.